Oh, it's hugging my leg. <laughs> oh my God, get off me. Oh, this looks like something, right? No, not the ferrets now. Hello guys, and welcome back to paradise. So we are picking up where we left off the last time. And hopefully our zombie is still alive. We still haven't found a name for her, so feel free to put our suggestions down in the uh, comments. So right off the bat, I can see that we actually need to take care of a bit of healing here, right? So we don't run around just putting ourselves at risk. We are going to make five, I guess. It's fine for now. And then heal her up. Then we got to figure out what's going on here. Uh, with all these options to build and craft and all that. Right now it says set the pylon to collect wood. Let's see. Configure. Expert mode. Um, what are you going to do? Wood? Oh, we're not going to give you any... Collect them for your zombies to collect nearby resources. Open the pilot interface, add zombies, and enable the collect action. Out of combat. And in combat, I guess we should equip them with a little bit of gear, right? Maybe like that. And I'm thinking... Um, maybe we should actually see if we can make some of these at some point. So we... I mean, these guys are around the base all the time, so they should be heavily defended, right? But now they should be collecting wood, are they not? Maybe go out a bit. Collect patrol, not patrol, but collect. And I guess that's that's it. What's this? Config two, config three. Ah, okay, you can change them up really fast. That's quite nice. So are they collecting wood now? I think they are. But this guy has a weapon and he has two. So, I mean, yeah, we already did that. I mean, like, just give you this. In your inventory, press and hold F to dismantle all of your duplicate weapons. Oh, that's clever. I should have known that a long time ago. Scrap junk. Wow. That's a neat function. Thank you. Answer the call on the communications terminal. No, oh, that's the terminal. Hello? Jeff Tusk here, owner of Paradise, the H2 Lunar Base, and much more. We've just detected your presence in the park. You won't be able to stay very long. The invasion is growing outside the perimeter. It'll be a tidal wave and complete carnage for any survivors. It's the end for Paradise, the end for Earth. All inhabitants have been evacuated to the H2 Lunar Base. We're safe and comfortable here. Humanity's future is up here, not down there. Let me think. Uh, we could come back to find you. Our rockets can land almost anywhere. You just need to build a launch pad strong enough for us to land and launch off again. If I remember correctly, we used a material that was suitable for reinforcing the fence around Paradise. Build the structure for us and let me know when it's done. New <laughs> rocket launch pad. Okay. Find the alloy plates. So are these attached to a specific site? <laughs> what do we just wander around aimlessly to hope to find? Oh, we got all the way over here. Wow. Okay, well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Can I ride you? Now I want to get off. Yeah, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Remembering the mouse issue from last time? There we go. Oh, look at this guy. He's full of stakes, spears. It's flat. Spiky armor. 
I mean, we could put that now on this guy, couldn't we? Uh, I guess we can't because it's not repaired. Inventory versus spike armor. Can we like sort all this? Ah, oh, right. Crafting. So we probably need a crafting table to make that. Uh, Millie. Not big enough love level for most of these. I guess we'll find out along the way. That was a lot. Oh! <laughs> nice. Oh, we gotta keep track of those skill points as well. Oh, we only got two, but... Maybe that's actually a good idea to revive, being able to revive the zombie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nurse? No. Arise and walk. Let's get that up again. Replace your dead sunbots with each fast travel and heal the ones that are still with you. <clears throat> yeah, maybe get that as well. So you can help. Splat. Let's run them off first, actually. That way we can spread our shots. Much more efficient. Let's see. Oh, look here. How nice. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I shouldn't get too cocky in these situations, I can almost feel, because suddenly they will go crazy and overrun you. Force our way in now. Oh, that, that was a dumb idea, wasn't it? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Heal! I mean, there must be a pylon in here. Is there so many? That was fun. Oh, we're not done yet. Whoa, look here. Oh my god. So many mats to get from this, you know, it almost becomes addictive because it feels like a never-ending source of material, so why not just go crazy? <laughs> oh, okay, maybe not entirely, but never go for retard. Whoops. Oh, zombie friend is dying. Where is he? See, we're actually almost out of ammo. No, don't go too close. Did we clean it all? Oh, I think we did. So there was an end to it. Well, let's get the maps first and maybe make some more bullets. And then we can see what's else hidden down here that we could make use of. So we are gonna make a lot of bullets. Let's make 250 bullets. 
And let's go and have a look at this place here. See if there's anything valuable. Mostly just dead bodies and rusted cars. What do we have here? Nothing. Oh, this looks like something, right? Oh. Zombie mask with pigtails armor. Ah! Well, lucky zombie. But that was actually kind of worth it, I guess. <laughs> zombie! Zombot! Got a present for you. Where are you? There you are. You need to wear this beautiful thing. Oh, it's for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, whatever whatever work whatever works, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next spot. Alan Tusk Memorial. <laughs> Well, conquest of space. Oh, work on artificial intelligence, neural implants to make humankind more efficient and orderly, and research into rebuilding the DNA of extinct animals. These are just some of the examples of Alan Tusk's legacy. Legend has it that Alan Tusk came up with the idea for his first inventions, Power Everywhere and Mega Hoop, while on a camping trip in this very spot, which took an unfortunate turn when he ran out of food and electricity during the night. 20 years later, he was building the first prototype for Power Everywhere, a reversible electric induction charging matrix in this very forest. This revolutionary technology replaced electric outlets in all modern buildings, and its powerful electromagnetic field even increases life expectancy, as demonstrated by all the studies we have published. Never be afraid of the dark again with Power Everywhere. You are also standing on top of the first prototype for another invention, the Mega Hoop an ultra-fast pneumatic delivery system for small, medium, and large packages. Rollout of the Mega Hoop across the country was suspended after protests from the United Delivery Person Coalition, who saw it as a threat to the primary source of employment worldwide. Thankfully, Alan Tusk presented his arguments and the many advantages of the technology, and the rollout resumed with a successful delivery rate of 84%. Alan Tusk chose to be cryogenically preserved here, under this monument, close to his inventions. Okay. Are we caught in the... Oh, we need to go just a bit around here. I guess a little bit back. Oh, there's another grave here, or a dick. Uh, yeah, whatever we call it. Junkyard, graveyard. <laughs> same, same. And we've got another item here. No, don't do it yet. I'm not ready. Please, somebody, don't. Uh, guess we need to res up first. Or oh, heal up. Sorry, not res. Heal. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Oh, where's the mouse? So at some point we have to press through. Like now. Highly efficient. Let's see what we get this time. So that's just another mask. It's basically the same one, just without pigtails, I guess. Let's try it on. But this has an armor value of six. This has it's basically the same. But I guess let's keep the pigtails. <laughs> so we got the alloy. Now we need to build the launch pad. Did we check over here? What was this? 
Zombies. Oh, zombies. What the Bees. <laughs> Bees. Oh, ouch. Okay. So there's a chest, but they do a lot of damage, these guys. Yeah, collect that, please. Good. Pedro's golden knife. Let's have a look at that. A beautiful balanced drawing knife made of 24 karat gold engraved with the name Pedro Ruiz Salvacion Fancy. <laughs> we can't do anything with it. I bet we can give it to Pedro though. Maybe he'll reward us for our troubles. The oh, wow. Stop doing that. Yeah, go into your own little... Oh, we had a protection ammo. Let's destroy this piece of crap here. Actually, I almost died from it. Didn't even notice. Also, not a chest. Another Petros Cold Knife? <laughs> Just wondering what we can uh, use this for these knives. It says it's a resource. Maybe it's for building, uh, crafting weapons. It'll probably be right. No? Quests. Answer the call on the communication to build the rocket launch pad. Okay, so we're actually just gonna build it. What well, that we're gonna do down at the base then. That makes sense to me. Oh nasty ferrets. Oh, it's hugging my leg! <laughs> oh my god, get off me! What the heck? Oh, you gotta jump! Little creep! <laughs> okay, let's build the rocket launch pad. Crafting... Buildings... Rocket launch pad. Okay. And... Uh, where should we place it then? Not a lot of options here. Oh, so we gotta put it all the way out here in the open. That sounds risky. Upgrade. <laughs> Look at that launch pad. <laughs> the primary engine. Okay, so we somehow need to evolve into getting a rocket engine. Go back and talk to Jeff. Yeah, he's probably gonna explain that to us now. And this is my this might be the point where you start building base defenses to make sure it doesn't get destroyed. Hello, hello. Still alive. Great news. Speaking of news, I've got some good news and some bad. Let's start with the good news. You've been accepted into H2. Your luxury condos are waiting for you here on the moon. 24/7 <laughs> view of Earth. The bad news, which isn't all that bad, is that our board of directors has judged it too risky to come and get you. But not to worry. Our latest rockets can be built as easily as Scandinavian furniture. You just need to find all the parts, assemble them on the launch pad, and that's it. Off to H2 and the good life. Given all the launch tests we did in the area, you should easily find what you need to build your own rocket. Start by searching in our launch base. It's in the desert area, just north of the forest. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna make an IKEA rocket. Excellent. Sounds safe. But properly functional. Maybe. Uh, but I'm thinking, yeah, it says we're gonna find the launch area, right? But I also feel like at some point you 
probably got to start considering making walls, right? So we don't get overrun. I mean, this is far away. And what happens while we're away? Let, how much does a wall cost? It costs power. So that's a beach wall. Dark fantasy defensive wall. And we got the fantastical rock wall. And we got the military wall. And a wall. <laughs> I wonder if they have different kind of uh, durability. Maybe it's just looks. Can we make a beach wall in the forest? I mean, we can make. Oh, it costs metal plates. Okay, so right now we're actually limited to. How can you turn this? Oh, rotate left, right and left. Like this. I mean, right now we're limited to just forcing the direction of these guys. Whoever might come close. So if we go like this. Maybe leave ourselves a little bit of room, right? Ah, and then it snaps. Excellent. Oh, we started. Our awesome beach build in the forest. He has pillows. So that makes him a bit bulletproof, right? Eh? <laughs> Let's see what it is. Heavy armor. Destroy it. Come on. One more. There we go. I got a metal plate so we can make some more walls. Or structures. Whichever is needed most. Oh, oh, seriously, these guys are using bees as weapons. I can't really... Uh... <laughs> Can you pick this up, please? I will take care of this guy. Pick up the bees. No, pick up the bees. <laughs> ah, thank you. Whack. Let's have a look at skills. I want to see if there's some point we can actually start having more of these guys, the zombies. Mm. Uh, maybe we should actually start leveling up this as well. Since I'm using the gun so much, anyways. These are annoying because they don't really uh, group up the same way the others do. There we go. Lots of stuff. Uh, there's no reason to talk to Jeff now, is there? At this moment. Whoa. <laughs> That's one way to get rid of them. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, so we need to go back down. Trixie with this the path path system. Oh, come on. Wow, that was a trap. Sort of. But we have trumpet guys, so I guess we need to go down and fix those. Did we already kill? No, oh, easy. Here's the oh, 
<laughs> oh god. Careful now. Oh Jesus, I'm out of breath. No, I'm not. I'm just not running. Come on! Don't kill me! I will kill you! Oh, my zombie died, didn't he? Jesus, 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 run! Run, god damn it! Oh, I don't have any bandages. Oh my god! I smell a cutscene coming in here. No, not the ferrets now! One health point! I can't even go into uh, <laughs> the inventory to make healing because they're gonna catch up. This sucks! <laughs> Please just let me get away. Okay, are we ready? No, we're not ready. Jesus! They are so close. Run! Okay, crafting, healing, craft, run! Oh, my dear. Okay. You better die now. That's for you, my friend. Oh. I am pretty satisfied with that. So that armor thing, is that for me or is that for the Sunbot? Let's see, it's probably for the Sunbot. Okay, better heal up a bit more. Mushrooms. Don't you throw stuff at me. There we go. Oh, that regrew really fast, that mushroom. Lots of metal plates, here we go. Oh yeah, look at the mess. No! And get ready to turn around. Shoot! I'm a guy almost dead. Oh, new guy. Let's get this destroyed really fast. Whew. Still not dead. I'm getting proud of myself. Oh, I have to hold probably? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Welcome back. Oh, we gotta rebuild this bridge. Same, the usual stuff. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, come on. Wow. Oh yeah, they carry a whole lot of scrap, so... That was probably worth it. Oh. We got some social distancing, distancing guys over there. Are you gonna come? Whoops. Masters all over the place. <laughs> What's new? Well, some bot, you want a uh, nice armor? Hey, 
look at you. And then give him the bat instead. And then, what was it it said? Use and taunt. Yeah, let's go this way first then. Let's see what happens. What? It seems to work nice. See that uh, spiked armor. Come on, somebody, let's do this. Excellent. Wow. This is a bad job, I guess. Well, we gotta take care of this. Anti projectile armor. That could be useful for other situations. Oh, look at these guys. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe we should actually. Just... Come on, come on. No. Hold back. You need this instead now. Anything over here? No. I got a little bit here and here. We must be getting close to that launch area. Is this friendly? What every mega hoop? Let's see what happens if we activate this. Oh, so we can actually just travel with it. That's pretty nice. We don't have to walk the way all the way back. Oh, desert area. They seem a bit runny. And what about you? Yep, we need you gazelle meat. Ah, that's a new thing. <laughs> so are we <laughs> running into the same thing now that we have to be whoa guided away or around? Ah I wanna bundle you guys up. Whoops. Actually put this on. Oh no, don't die. Did he die? He died. Oh, they have machetes. Jesus. Then you get a new weapon. You're gonna get a fancy new machete. Woo! -hoo. The scorching desert. What's this? Oh! Old bottle. Anything else? Another bottle. Let's just check over here. Oh, there's another one of those, like, canyons where you can probably kill a lot. Maybe that would be a name for the sunbot. So kill a lot. Oops. Now someone throwing stuff or shooting stuff at me. Those damn machete guys. Run! Jesus! Oh, what? He wasn't even close! No! <laughs> oh, I probably got shot, didn't I? Welcome back, mate.
Yeah, we need to do better. Can I, like, make myself some better weapons now? Still not? No? What level am I, actually? I'm level 13. Ah, okay, so let's see. Legendary. We actually have the mats for this one. And what am I using? I'm using a level 5. So... Oh, and we can... I can have this as well. Ah. That's probably better, but I still want to carry the uh, shotgun, right? Like that. And let's see, crafting armor we got. So it's not because I can't make it, it's because I didn't have the mats. Silly me. Crafting rope. with me well crap. this is gonna this is gonna change the whole game so we need the chest what's this is that the right arm left arm uh, just And that must be the left arm, right? Fully armored. Imagine had I been using this gear earlier, right? And you guys are probably thinking, God damn idiot. Yep, I agree. What were we doing? We're trying to get past this guy, right? Because I got lured into that digging site or canyon because it looked fun. But actually, we're on a mission to find the launch pad, so let's stick to that. Hello, sir. Hey, and who might you be? What you want? This here is the entrance to Davis Land, Peckerhead. You can't just walk in. You want me to open her up, you're going to have to prove yourself as worthy. How about you go hunt a couple of gazelles with a bow? Let's see if you got the speed and aim I could admire you for. Hmm. Now, I want a good show. You better take note. I got my eye on you. What a hillbilly. <laughs> well, we already did kill a few, so it should be easy to do again, right? With a bow okay so please don't tell me that i really have to go back can we like travel we can go back to the desert entrance and probably fast travel right so where can we go that's pretty close Turn to the shelter. Oh, clever. And then we can probably get back easy as well. Nice. Let's go in here. Craft. <gasps> Look at this. Okay, we're gonna make a rare bow, right? No, we're gonna make a bow. Then we're gonna make a rare bow when we make some rope. Give me some rope. Let's just make a lot. Let's then craft. Let's then make this one. Do we have tape? Oh, we got tape. Legendary bow. That's a good start. And now uh, we need arrows, I guess. So a whole lot of those. And for melee. The only thing we're missing is leather. I wonder if we can get that from the um, from the uh, gazelles. Ranged. What kind of gun do we have now? We have a common level 5. So what if we take a level 10?
Nice. Okay, so can we upgrade that as well? Oh, we can upgrade the shop, but we need a saw blade. Okay. So now the gun is level 10, and we sh the machete is level 8, so that's pretty good. Let's scrap junk. And let's equip the bow. Right? No? Let's put it in here. What? Tell me that I can equip this. Uh, is it? It's not for the bot, is it? Is it for the bot? No. So what does it take for me to equip a bow? <laughs> Is it because it, it's too high level? It's because it's level 16, isn't it? That's probably it. I'm not high enough level to use it. I guess we go back to starters and then we make this one for now. Yeah, that's it. It's tied to my level. Um, should we continue the water a little bit? Since we're back, might as well. We were doing the beach wall, right? <laughs> so at least one direction is uh, covered now. And that seems safe because there's no way to get through that. Good, let's travel back and get those gazelles. We are back. Now, Davis, I'm going to show you some excellent gazelle hunting. Oh, look at this. Oh, they have a head leather. Where's the last? Oh, we are done. So we can go talk to Davis. That was pretty easy once you had the... Uh, Once you had the idea and bow. Hello, mister. Not bad, I'll admit it. Hunting a gazelle with a bow with zombies all around is the kind of crazy out of mind respect you for. <laughs> How do? I'm Nolan Davis. Welcome to Davis land, tourist. Tourist. Wow. Oh, he threw a boomerang at me. So I guess if you can get them down before the boomerang comes around, you don't get hit twice at least. <laughs> okay, let's destroy this. So where's the launch area again? Oh, it's this way. This way here. Almost there. <laughs> or you can actually just fast release, then it works pretty well. Wow. Quick expedition. Oh, am I picking? Oh, we're picking up ours again. That's good. That's a bonus to this weapon instead of the uh, shotgun, right? are standing where the conquest of space truly started. From here, Moon W fired up the first rockets for colonization of the moon. The latest rocket model, named First Jump 73B, boasts the next generation 5090 Ti electric propulsion and Brain B electronics. And I just saw the timer. Groundbreaking technologies. Well, I think we're going to wrap this up soon by the because of the touch otherwise group. it's going to be a hell of a long video. First jump XXV one. rockets were used to deliver the materials needed to build H2, a vast lunar base that can permanently house the first colonists. Moon W would like to pay tribute to its beloved creator, the visionary Alan Tusk, who left us too early and without whom nothing would have been possible. 
Moon W's management is committed to researching the ecosystem stabilization of farming domes to make H2 self-sufficient with regard to food. This will reduce the need to import resources from Earth. Moon W would also like to remind our valued guests that it never used animals of any kind to conduct the first crewed flights and that all rumors to the contrary are unfounded. Finally, Moon W wishes to remind you that the firm was not aware of any development failure during its Lunar Conquest program, but that in case a visitor were ever to find rocket debris, pieces of fuselage, or any other element that could come from the explosion of one or more rockets, please do not approach them, photograph them, or pick them up. For your souvenirs, we invite you to visit the Moon W gift shop to find a selection of collectibles. Cryptocurrencies are not accepted anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So, okay, this is the launch area, so we're actually going to go down there, I guess. So, guys, let's divide up here. Next episode, I'm going to head down into that canyon, try to get up to the actual launch area. Uh, so, I hope you're going to join me for next time. And for now, Bye.